Hi guys, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. Say hi, Augustine. Hi. <laughs> he's my four-year-old and he's just watching his tablet. What are you watching? My tablet. What cartoon is that? Oddbots. Oddbots? <laughs> so, um, we're actually waiting for my oldest son to get ready to bring me to my physical therapy appointment at four today. So I have my leggings and my, this t-shirt, uh, my parents, I don't know if I've told you, they live in South America, they live in Chile. And my son went to visit them in July and they sent me this uh, with him. And I've, this, I think this is the second time I wear this t-shirt. It's really nice. Maybe I'll send you a picture of my full body, um, how I'm dressed up today for my physical therapy, even though I've gained so much weight because I can't do anything because of my foot. So um, I'm hoping that soon I'm going to feel better to be able to, you know, be able to do more physical activity. I can walk, but I can't do like running or even jumping. The other day I was trying to reach a balloon because my son here he loves balloons and one balloon was flying away and I was trying to reach it so I kind of jump and I forgot that I have my bad foot when when I landed it was so freaking painful so I just can't wait to get better I'm just and age doesn't help either, you know. I'm not that young anymore. Uh, how old am I? Um, I was born in 1977, so I'm what, 41? I'm gonna be 42 in December. My birthday is December 4th. So that's a few months away. So, you know, when you are over 40, nothing is as easy as before when you were younger um i was able to lose weight so much quicker now before but now that i'm over 40 everything is so much harder i get you know i'm getting a lot of like white hairs and wrinkles and it's so hard to lose the weight and it's not like i eat bad stuff i'm i try to eat like pretty healthy but anyways just it's a struggle so, I don't know, guys, but at least it's Friday. And TGIF to all of you. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, oh, I also wanted to send a big hug to Tony, because Tony, Tony's uh, rooster, Billy Idol, passed away yesterday. And I was just so sad, and my heart goes out to you, Tony. I'm sending you a big, big hug know how you feel um i will keep you in my prayers and i don't know what's going on with in your life but um i'll keep you in my prayers okay and hopefully everything is gonna get better soon um right now my struggle here is my son going away next week he's gonna be going to college on the 24th most of you know probably because I've been bombarding um, YouTube with um, holes for um, college and I've been buying a lot of things for him to take with him next Saturday when he goes there. I'm actually, we're actually going to bring him and help him with um, setting up everything in his dorm and so we have to take a couple cars with the stuff. I was thinking about maybe Renting a U-Haul truck, a small one. I don't know if we're going to do that yet. Um, but yeah, so it's um, it's sad. I'm sad. I'm overwhelmed. I try not to get sad and cry, but he's my firstborn, so I know that I'm going to miss him tremendously. And he's going to be okay. He's going to a great school, and it's safe there, and I know he is gonna have everything that he wants to eat and all because he's gonna have like this 
anytime meal where whenever he's hungry, he can just go to the cafeteria and eat something. And I'm going to be sending care packages, but still, you know, I still worry. I'm a mom and he's my firstborn. He's 18. I have him when I was 23. So I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm sad. I don't want next Saturday to get here. Um, what else I wanted to tell you? Um, last night, oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you about this too. My oldest, again, my baby, my Adolfo, he, last night we went shopping. I asked him to take me to the Dollar Tree and then to the supermarket and then we were gonna go to Walmart to get some things for college. So we were gonna go to like three different stores, right? So we went to Dollar Tree and I was in there for like, I don't know, maybe a half an hour. I went in there to get, um, Oh, I wanted to get um, a flashlight for his first aid kit and some twisters and some masks to put to add in the first aid kit. Um, you can find the video in my feed and maybe I'll link it below. Um, so I went in to get those things and I ended up buying, you know, a couple of snacks that he wanted and some new pretzels, like maybe some, they were what, Avanero? pretzels bacon avenir i think it was maybe i'll do a test um a taste test with him maybe i'll ask him to do it with me i've never done one of those but that was really spicy i think because it's avenir peppers and he loves spicy food he puts sriracha on everything so anyway um i was at the dollar tree and he called me he never calls me he was waiting for me in the car because he had a really really bad migraine he wasn't feeling well but my husband wasn't here so my son took me shopping and um so he says to me um how much longer because i need to go get some water i need to go to the restroom um and in the plaza that we wear the supermarket is right there so i was paying i was at the cashier you're not the register so i paid for my stuff and i went out and we both went into the supermarket and I was in the supermarket for like five minutes maybe and he called me again and I'm like, why is he calling me again? So he is like in a big crisis. He's like so upset and so, so, so upset that he was almost in tears on the phone. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and he was so upset because his phone was not working he has the iphone 10 and you know how it is nowadays i mean kids cannot survive without technology i never had a cell phone when i was younger i think my i had a cell phone when i was what in my 20s i you know i never thought that i needed one till i was done with school and started working but before that i'm like you know in my during my childhood i was playing with barbies and coloring and making dolls out of paper and cardboard and making clothes <laughs> seriously and now kids cannot survive without technology my four-year-old here he has a tablet and my oldest son i think we got him a cell phone when he was 10 but because he was in daycare after school and we needed to talk to him you know but life is different now but what i'm saying is that they get so 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 addicted to technology that he was having a meltdown yesterday while i was in the supermarket doing my grocery shopping so i couldn't really shop for everything i wanted because he was in such a crisis that he kept calling me from the car from the car play because he couldn't turn off his cell phone he couldn't turn it off he couldn't restart the phone nothing it was frozen the screen was locked and he has the um apple iphone 10 so i was cashing out at the supermarket after like 10 minutes i bought like a few things maybe 10 things and i went to pay because he was just in a crisis and as I'm cashing out I start calling the Apple store at the mall nearby 
and there is only one Apple store near where I live. It's the biggest mall and they have an Apple store. It's not in like every mall. It's like in the biggest mall we have here, which is like 20 minutes from where I live. So I cashed out. I went out the supermarket. He was waiting for me right outside the supermarket door. <laughs> and I said to him, okay, so we're going to go to the Apple store because I'm trying to call them to make an appointment because that's the other thing. You have to make an appointment for them to talk to you. They can't just, if you walk in there, they might be able to see you if they didn't meet their quota. That's what they said to me once. I mean, they have like certain amount of people that they can talk to or um, do things during the day. And then um, something like that. So I'm on the phone and they start asking me about what happened and... I have it on a speakerphone, so the representative was trying to tell us what to do, and we tried that. It didn't work. We tried it several times. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so then um, it didn't happen. So I said to her, can you please give us an appointment then? Because my son here is in a crisis, and he really needs his phone because, um, you know, he has friends and his girlfriend and all of that, so he has Snapchat or whatever. And he texted his friends and he was supposed to go to a party and then that didn't happen. He didn't go. So anyway, so he had a lot of things going on last night and he needed his phone. So he's like, I need my phone for tomorrow or for Saturday. He's going to go away on Saturday. So um, he says, I need my phone. So they need to fix it. So the representative, the Apple representative, she says to us, oh, we don't have any more appointments uh, for the day, so you have to come in tomorrow. I can give you one for tomorrow. And he is like furious. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, well, it doesn't matter. We're just going to walk in then and see if someone can talk to us and help us fix this issue. She says, oh, okay, so go ahead and do that, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we hang up the phone. We got to the mall like five minutes later. He was driving. And... So we got to the Apple store and as, as we are approaching the Apple store, he got the phone to um, um, restart. He, was, he kept doing what the representative on the phone said to do, press the uh, volume button up and down and the power button on the right side and I don't know what else she said, but it, it worked. So he got it to work. And we were right there. We were right outside the Apple store when it worked. So uh, we got to um, the door and there were people there, you know, waiting for, um, trying to help people, like making the appointments and stuff like that. And we just asked her why that happened. And she said that because he never, he, she asked him if he turns off his phone, um, often and he says that he never turns his phone off which is bad for your phone because it's like they get tired you know it's like a big traffic jam or something um so if you guys have a phone and you don't turn it off make sure you do that every so often so that doesn't happen to you because or if you have teenage kids tell them because this was a big big crisis i'm telling you i thought that i was gonna have to spend the night outside the apple store and wait for t for today to open <laughs> seriously it wasn't funny it was i'm like why are you so upset he's like well, la, 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 la. anyway <laughs> uh sorry about the long chit chat guys i just wanted to you know, I'll talk to you. I have a lot of things that I have to show you. I have some more hauls of the stuff that I got last night from Dollar Tree. And I have some things from Walmart that I already put away. But I'm going to check my receipt and see what was it. Maybe I'll show you that too. Oh, uh, and when we went to the Apple store, um, we went in and out of the mall just for that. But before we left, he wanted to go to the restroom. So he went to the restroom and right outside, uh, right next to where the, um, the restroom is, there is a kid's foot locker. So I went in to take a look and see what they had, if something was on sale. And I ended up buying a new pair of sneakers for my little one, for my four-year-old. So uh, I'm going to show them to you. See, kid's 
footlocker. So, and they are Nikes. And these are size 10. Size 10. This is four year old. And he wears size 10. And these are the shoes. Look at this. They are white and black. He had these shoes before we bought them last year for him too, but they are white and this is red and they are too tight now because they were size nine and they don't fit him anymore. So these shoes, I got them last night for him and I only paid $29.99. They also had this beautiful yellow um, Nike shoes uh, they were SpongeBob Nikes. Um, they were so cute, but I saw them as I'm leaving the store. They were by the door, and I grabbed them to see the price, and they didn't have a tag inside. So um, I was just telling my husband this morning. He was working, but I sent him a text, and I said to him um, about the SpongeBob shoes, and he loved them. I sent him a picture, and he's like, oh, we need to buy those for him. So... They are eighty dollars. It says on the um, on the uh, Kids Food Locker website. So we might buy it for him. I don't know. He loved them, so he says let's buy them. <laughs> so I think eighty dollars is kind of pricey for a sneaker that's only gonna last maybe a few months. But he deserves it. He's such a good boy, and you know why not? He, if Daddy wants to buy them will buy them so if we do i'll show them to you and that's it guys i'll be back to talk to you later sorry about this long chit chat but i'll see you again soon bye bye i'm gonna go to my physical therapy now bye